When I was in college, I was taking a business law class. I remember a student introducing himself as being an exchange student from Israel. And just for class discussion one day, the teacher asked him how a certain case study we were looking at would be handled in his country. I'll never forget his answer. He said, there would be nothing to handle. It was an accident, and though it's unfortunate, accidents are an accepted fact of life in our culture. Then he said, Americans sue over everything, but in Israel, we don't sue one another. Now, you know we were all kind of astonished and amazed by his answer, and that's the point of Deuteronomy 15. God planned on the world standing in amazement at his people's love, grace, generosity, and prosperity towards each other. In Deuteronomy 15, God instituted a celebration to happen every seventh year. On this day, they would cancel all debt among them and set any servants free. But that generosity didn't stop with giving to others. He finished the chapter teaching how to give only the best to God. Here God wants us to understand the correct heart and mindset of giving to God. In today's culture, it would be something like this. If we have two items, one new and the others used, give God the new one. And when we budget our time and money, make sure we aren't just giving God leftovers. Make it an intentional offering and sacrifice. To me, David is a great example of this. It's a quote of David that's really shaped my heart for worship and giving God my best. In 2 Samuel 24, David said this, I will not present burnt offerings to the Lord my God that have cost me nothing. 